Okay, I just want to finish a few more things about Persia. I had to get off for one second. Um, so, um, let's just finish this. The culture became very Zoroastrianism, if you will, became very pervasive, universal. It believed in um, a personal God. Often it was contrasting. Uh, for example, the good god, uh, Ahura Mazda, the wise lord, the counter deity, the bad god, Ahriman. So it was kind of black and white contrasting um, it, good and evil, etc. But the interesting thing about this religion, if you will, is it was a personal religion. It wasn't of the state. It didn't, didn't belong to any particular region. It um, stressed free will and resurrection and personal uh, sacrifice and a personal growth and development. Um, that's sort of the story of, of Zoroastrianism. And what we believe is that this is really the first kind or the first inkling of monotheism, the belief in one God, this sort of universal um, belief that these Persians had. Before I finish with the Persians, um, I just want to go... Cyrus um, died in approximately 530. After he died, there was a struggle for power, really a civil war for about 11 years. His son couldn't control. Cambyses could not stay in power. So somebody in the royal family, his name is Darius. You've probably heard of him. He comes to the throne and um, he has a very long uh, rule, about 35 years, we believe, um, and from about 521 to 486 BCE. He really took as his uh, inspiration his uncle or cousin Cyrus, and he had a light touch. He was believed in Zoroastrianism, um, that Persian rule um, should be um, tolerant and forgiving, and for that reason, of course, many subjects in all of the lands that he governed loved him. Um, and um, he allowed different people in the kingdom, in all the conquered territories, to continue to have their own uh, leadership, their own um, lifestyle, their local cultures. Of course, people adored him and the Persian king for that reason. Um, the other thing about uh, Darius that is interesting is he was a builder. He built Persepolis, which is, you know, Persia city. He ordered a canal to be dug between uh, the Nile to the Red Sea. Um, why? So that they could trade with the Egyptians easier. Um, he increased agricultural production, so there wasn't as much hunger in his territory. And he created, perhaps the most important thing we know of, is something called the Royal Road. It was approximately 1,600 miles, um, and it went all the way from Lydia, almost all the way to the Persian Gulf, and to... Um, um, and all the way through Persia. Um, he created really the first normalized postal system, which is interesting. It kind of reminds me of the Pony Express here. Every single ride along this road and therefore postal route was exactly one day's ride. So there was mail every day, that was the way in which the postal system was set up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Darius did face some military uprisings, but he was generally a humanitarian um, and um, really improved the culture of the Persian people. Uh, and to this day, of course, Cyrus and Darius are um, idealized within 
Persia. Okay, I will come back with another tape in two minutes to just finish up this chapter and discuss monotheism Hebrew style. Okay, thank you.